Hello, this is a video from Industrial Shields and today we are going to see a quick and easy tutorial about how to connect one of our PLCs to the distribution panel and the installation process. First of all, we will see how the PLCs and the power source fit in the DIN rail. We have to take into account and use the spring clip, just this way. It is important to provide appropriate clearance for cooling and wiring PLC. Is designed it for natural convection cooling. For proper cooling, you must provide a clearance of at least 25 cm above and below the devices. Also, allow at least 25 cm of depth between the front of the modules and the inside of the enclosure. In the case that the devices are closer than the safety distance, be sure that the external power source or the PLC's power source part are not in contact or too close to the PLC's board part because the board will raise its temperature and it will turn off for safety reasons. The maximum temperature supported by our devices is 60 Celsius degrees, so, according to that, you have to ensure a correct environment for the device and, if the temperatures are going to be higher than this number, provide a refrigeration system with fans and ventilation. Now we have to do all the connections between the power source and the PLC. We have to consider that our power sources are packed without alimentation wires and we have to put them in its locations. One for the face, one for the neutral and one for the ground. Remember that all these connections have to be done before connecting the source to the power for safety reasons. In this point, it is time to connect all the inputs and outputs of our system such as sensors or actuators. In our example, we will connect two of our devices, in, its, in this case an uh, Arduino 21 Plus and an uh, Arduino 58 Plus, in the right way to communicate themselves using RS-232 protocol. We have to connect the RX of the first device with the TX of the second and the TX of the first with the RX of the other. One note about the wires is that we recommend to use a Kita type ferrite in the wire because of, thanks to its magnetic properties, the focal currents are practically eliminated. Despite of this, it is recommended to isolate the devices from electromagnetic noise and durations which can be caused by machines such as three-phase motors and frequency drivers. Like we previously said, we can connect the power supply to the PLCs when all the connections and the dangerous manipulations have ended. Finally, we can put all the covers and all the elements of the rails and the panel to ensure a nice finishing touch that will provide protection and a good appearance. That is all for this video. If you check the description, you can find a link to the related post of our blog and stay tuned with our social media. Thanks for watching us. Give a like and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.